Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Some of the most defining aspects of Minecraft, and in fact half of the name of the game, is the crafting system the game actually came with. The ability to take two to nine items, put them together in the 3x3 three three crafting grid, and then to have something else come out on the other side, based loosely based on what you actually put in, is a really interesting system that people really enjoyed at first, and I think is one of the elements of Minecraft's success. The fact that, you know, you have to remember these recipes, and it was almost like a, you know, part that you learned slowly as you went on. It was a really cool thing that I feel like they've neglected over the past few updates. They haven't really added new recipes to do with existing items, and I feel like there's so many possibilities that still haven't been truly explored that I think they talk about with today's video. So here are 10 crafting recipes I wish we had in Minecraft. Hopefully you do all enjoy the video. Like it if you do because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do enjoy this sort of stuff. But with that said, let's get straight into worry, shall we? And let's start with something that should have came in 1.9 because I still feel to this day that the way they did the 1.9 combat update was kind of needlessly controversial. Like half the people hated it because they tried to change up existing stuff rather than adding new items and balancing those. And I feel like the best way that they could have done that is with brand new weapons and most notably the halberd. So the way you could have added more skill to the combat system in Minecraft is by making a halberd with, you know, the following recipe right here and making it so that, you know, you have a longer reach with this halberd, uh, but the downside to that could be less range, or you could give this, you know, the swing time that the sword currently has, and that way there'll be like a combat triangle in Minecraft. You'd be like, okay, well, if I want to be at short range, I'll use a sword. If you want to be at medium range, you use this kind of halberd where you get the extra little bit of reach, and then at long range, you use a bow or whatever, and then it would be all about working out what range to attack people, and there would be more skills to the combat, which is what everyone wanted in the first place. However, to this day, they still have not added another way to, you know, use the diamond, the iron, the stone, etc., to make a different class of weapon, and I feel like that's one of the biggest opportunities they've missed. Like, even if it's not necessarily better in any way, like, oh yeah, let's make a long sword that, you know, does double damage but has a really slow cooldown, whatever it is they need to do, I feel like they could have done it with that update, and they really missed a big opportunity to. So, yeah, first recipe I wish we had was the has the halberd or like a long sword or anything with longer reach, uh, you know, than a regular sword, because that would also be great for survival, where you want to just reach stuff and be a bit lazy sometimes. So, let's move on to the next uh, crafting recipe I wish we had, and this is one that I know so many builders will be on board of because it is the ha uh, vertical half snap. So adding the half snap to Minecraft is one of not just like biggest regrets ever. He's uh, publicly stated that he wish he didn't because it kind of breaks up some of the flow of Minecraft. However, now that's in the game, it's a defined part of it. We all agree half snaps are a thing. Why not add vertical half snap? It just seems like a really weird thing that they're just not in the game, and they'd be such an easy crafting recipe. Just you know, like free cobblestone or free stone or whatever in the vertical, uh, you know, so, uh, where we have a thing, uh, regular one. And although the uh, it's actually been stated a few times that you know uh, uh, vertical half snaps would be too tricky to add or something like that, realistically it's just doing the exact same thing you did with uh, regular half slabs because the regular half slabs don't count as a half block they kind of count as a full one for a lot of reasons just do that with a vertical block make it count as the entire block but visually it could be the vertical half slab and it would be a lot better than the current system of like oh yeah let's use stairs and try and make them line up right I don't really like it too much at all and I would prefer a vertical half slabs like I'm sure a billion builders would also so let's move on to the third crafting recipe I wish we had which is a better chest so uh, yeah right now there is just the regular chest I wish they added either a diamond chest or an iron chest and there's so many things you could do with these better chests um, there's an iron chest mod on PC where you, you know, surround chests of iron and then you get a better chest which can then store more stuff. That's one uh, concept I quite like, but there's also the concept of just like, oh yeah, I want to have a chest that's unmovable or maybe not even openable by anyone but me. Boom, diamond chest. Make a super strong chest that can't be opened too easily or take some time to open. Just some ideas like that to make a more secure chest or just a better looking chest. And then finally, the iron chest could also be used as like a redstone component. So in the same way there are iron doors as the counter to, you know, wooden doors, would it be great if we had an iron chest that could only be opened after it had a redstone current applied to it? That would be a cool way to secure your chests against people coming in and looting your stuff, and I think it would be a great idea, and I just don't know why we have never had a chest upgrade uh, since the first one was introduced, you know, like six years ago now, or maybe even seven years. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next recipe I think we should have, which is the fire bottle. So, yeah, this is the fourth one, and uh, the fire bottle sounds like a weird, you know, thing in theory, like, oh, yeah, why would anyone drink a harming potion? But harming potions exist because you turn them into smash potions. I feel like fire bottles could exist for the same reason. So, uh, yeah, the way you'd uh, craft this is by, you know, taking a lava bucket, putting it between some, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, glass, and then taking away the bucket back, or you could even just fill up a regular bottle in the, you know, in the lava, whichever way you need to do it, but having just a bottle which you can turn into flames so that you can turn into a splash potion and fire that at people would be pretty cool. And even in the regular form, you could argue like, oh, well, I guess it'd be kind of interesting to, you know, have a, a, a potion that sets you on fire because sometimes you want to be on fire. Very, very rarely, but it is possible sometimes, and that'd be pretty cool. And also, you would think the lingering potion of, uh, you know, fire, that'd be great too. And uh, yeah, this is just a, ra a recipe I feel like they've missed out on for quite some time. So fire potion, uh, I wish it would happen. We've got fire resistance. Why not fire fire? So... <laughs> 
<laughs> totally good logic right there. But, but yeah, with that said, this one's the fifth recipe I think I wish we had, which is horse armor. So horse armor is uh, something that wasn't craftable when it first was introduced to the PC, or it was for a little bit during some snapshots, but it wasn't when the full update came out, and it was on the Pocket Edition for a little bit, and still is for Lever, I think. Uh, but I think they should just make it craftable, because admittedly, uh, they want it to be a rare item you only find sometimes to make your horses be a bit better, but you know, sometimes you just don't find it, and does that mean you don't deserve horse armor? I don't know if that should be the case. So what I, I, what I wish they'd do with it is make it somewhat tricky to craft, let's call it like seven diamonds and a bit of lapis uh, wool or something, or blue wool I should say, uh, like make it come somewhat difficult to, uh, to craft, so most people won't want to craft it, but you might as well just add the recipe in there, because having items where people think there's a recipe, but there's not, just seems like a, you know, a recipe for, oh, a recipe for, uh, for disaster right there, and I just, uh, I feel like it's one of those things where people think there should be a crafting recipe, people think there is a crafting recipe sometimes, you know, let's just add a crafting recipe, so yeah, that is uh, the fifth idea, the sixth one here is one I think that would be, again, a cool, a cool addition to the combat update, and perhaps just still do it right now, just surprise people, and that is the ender arrow. So you can probably work this one out, take some arrows, take an ender pearl, and when you fire these arrows, it could teleport you to the location. So there's a couple of reasons this would be cool. The first one is that arrows can go to their destination a bit slower, so fire it in the air, and that way you can go way, way, way up further, but also you could use arrows to get a much better trajectory and a much better feel for where your ender pearl's going, and I just feel like the ender arrow would be pretty cool. Or you could use it to make, you know, the person you're shooting at teleport to you. That would be a bit more confusing, doesn't make too much sense, but yeah, imagine, you know, you have uh, like an ender bow and an arrow, and then you fire that, and then when, when you hit someone, they're teleported at close range to you. That would be a cool, you know, little bit of combat, and it'd make you really more cautious of arrows, wouldn't it? Uh, so yeah, ender arrow, really cool idea, add an ender pearl to arrows, and make some magic teleporting stuff happen. That's all I really want from my arrows in Minecraft. So, the next uh, idea that I think, again, I, I've suggested this a few times before, but I feel like when you kill a mob with silk touch, it would be great if you got a spawn egg for that mob. But you know, you can kind of argue that doesn't make too much sense. So what if there was a crafting recipe for spawn eggs? Because there is uh, technically a spawn egg for chickens in the form of just eggs. So why not use those eggs and then, uh, you know, let's say for a cow, you have some like, you know, raw beef and leather. Uh, for a, you know, a creeper, you have some gunpowder that allows you to make spawn eggs because sometimes you want to be able to take a mob to a particular place and something like a creeper, for instance, is just a nightmare to do by itself. And I feel like once you've gone to the point that you have 80, you know, gunpowder or whatever, or like how much you need to do this, uh, once you have that much gunpowder, you should just be able to craft these t right now creative exclusive items. And you know, I think every creative exclusive item should have some form of crafting recipe, no matter how hard, just because it makes sense like the spawn egg. So yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next uh, one here, which is going to be the human mob. Again, this is, it sounds like it's weird to say like, oh yeah, crafting recipe for a mob. Well, kind of in the same way we have the snow golem and the, um, you know, the uh, the iron golem, we should be able to have a human golem or just a human mob because the human mob exists in Minecraft for a little bit towards the beginning. And although it didn't do too much, I feel like today with very little work, they could overhaul the AI and just make it follow you and maybe like run in and, you know, absorb some attacks for you. So let's say you make the human golem using some iron armor and, uh, you know, like a Steve head. Again, you have to make a way to get that in survival, or, but even if you don't, you can just make that like a fun, creative, funny thing, and then you could have a human golem following you at all times, so if you're going into a cave, he can absorb some hits for you. If, uh, you know, there's like a creeper running up on you, you'll hear the uh, hissing for him, not for you. I feel like there's a lot of reasons you'd want a human golem, and it will just make Minecraft feel uh, a bit cooler, because once you get to the level where you've got a lot of this stuff, you could spawn like 50 human golems and just have an army of people following you, and I know, that's that, that's one of the levels of uh, like success I like in a game where you're just like, yes, I own this, and having 50 humans following you would be a pretty good level of mastering Minecraft. Minecraft. But obviously that's just another silly idea. In case you want to have like more grounded ones that are just, you know, really simple, like take this, add that, why don't we have it? Uh, the next one is going to be the furnace boat. This is one that surprised me that isn't in the game because the furnace minecart is useless. Like it's been in the game for so long. When was the last time you saw someone use a furnace minecraft? Oh, a very, very long time ago because they're useless. So I think they should fix those, uh, you know, as a separate issue, but they should also add the furnace boat as like a speedboat thing because again, uh, sometimes you want to be able to move boats across the land next to you. You don't want to have to move back and forth between the boats. So the furnace boat is a good solution to that, but also, even if you ignore that whole, uh, you know, part of it, it would also just be a cool thing to be able to have a boat that, you know, because, uh, you know, right now there are two-person boats, have half your boat be the furnace, which powers it and, like, lets you go in behind it, and let you be in the other half, or have a furnace, uh, sorry, a chest boat, where you can have a chest in one half and you in the other half. There's so many possibilities now, there's two people boats, and they just haven't really used them, despite being relatively simple recipes, like, as simple as add boat, add furnace, boom, now we got speed boats. I just feel like it's something they should have done. So the final recipe I'm going to suggest here is for clay, and although I kind of like clay being a somewhat rare item, like it makes me just feel cool when I use it, you know, it doesn't really make too much sense that it is somewhat rare in Minecraft console, uh, in Minecraft in general right now, but I also would really like a recipe for gravel. I think I've mentioned this like a billion times or something like that, that it would be great if you could have a, a gravel be actually useful. One of the ways you could do that is a recipe for clay. So you add some water to water down the gravel, you add some sand, some dirt, and then you get clay from that, and now you've got something useful from these otherwise 
just abundant blocks that you don't necessarily use. I think that'd be pretty great. Obviously, the water bucket, the fact that you have to, you know, do all that stuff might be a bit, uh, you know, annoying that you have to add, keep adding that in there. Or maybe you could just do it without the water, like, you know, have one water be like for a whole stack of it. I don't know for sure, but I just feel like taking uh, the gravel, turning it into a good recipe, and having a way to get clay, even if you have, like, no ocean near you, would be pretty great. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion on all of these with the comments down below. Like that if you did like it, though, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like my ideas for crafting recipes. Share if you really likes it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching. In case you are curious, I have been building a woodland mansion from Minecraft 1.11 in the background. Uh, let me know how you think that's going too. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.